Wow, wow, wow. Welcome back to Be Encouraged. And thanks for joining. Do you think you need more grace to trust God more? For some reason this week, I feel like I need a lot more grace to trust God more. You know, I'm reminded of the songwriter. I think her name was Louisa Stead. It, the song was, Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him at his word. Just to rest upon his promise. Just to know, thus saith the Lord. She said, Jesus, Jesus, how I trust thee. How I prove thee o'er and o'er. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus. Hope for grace to trust him more. You see, it's very difficult when you're going through challenges to trust God. We all need more grace. When you're praying about something and you continue to pray, others are praying for you and the situation doesn't change. And you're wondering, Lord, can I trust you? But today we're reminded in the song, Hope for Grace. All we need is just some more grace to continue trusting and believing in Him. You know, today's reading comes to us from the book of Ezra. I was reading through the book this week. And Ezra chapter 8, verse 22 and 23 really jumped out of the pages in my heart. You know, it reads from the NIV Bible. Ezra said, I was ashamed to ask the king for soldiers and horsemen to protect us from the enemies on the road. Because we had told the king, listen what he told the king, the gracious hand of our God is on everyone who looks to him, but his great anger is against all who forsake him. And because Ezra told the king those words, he said, so we fasted and petitioned our God about this, and he answered our prayer. May God add blessings to his holy words today. So the question for us today is, are you tired and are you ashamed of asking for prayer and help in praying for the same things that you have been asking someone to pray for over and over again? And the reason you don't want to ask anymore is because you have constantly been praying about this issue and there is no answer, no breakthrough. You're still facing the difficulties. You're still having the challenges. But we see Ezra was at a place where he felt ashamed because he didn't want to go to the king for help when he told him that he served a great God, a gracious God, a powerful God, a God who was trustworthy, a God who was his defense, a God who he could depend upon. And when he realized he didn't want to go to the king anymore or go to the king to ask for help, what did he do? He fasted and he petitioned God. My brothers and sisters, this week you may need to fast and petition your God about the challenges and that situation that you have been praying about for a long time. You see, petition means to appeal to authority and God is the authority in each and every single one of our lives and because he's our authority we can petition him you know petition is one level above praying it's going and petitioning and saying God here am I again I've been asking about this thing I've been praying others have been praying for me it might be a marital problem it might be a problem with a son or a daughter. It might be a problem in the family, the extended family. It might be a problem on the job. It might be a problem in your own spiritual walk. It might be some secret sin that you're dealing with and you need just help and you're, you have asked for help and people have been praying, but you haven't seen that breakthrough. You haven't seen that change. But Ezra said, they fasted and petitioned. So this week, my brothers and sisters, Whatever it is that you have been praying about, don't give up. Remember, you, all you need is some more grace. And God is willing to provide more grace 
and more grace when we fast and we petition him he will provide us more grace and not only that when Ezra fasted and petitioned him he answered his prayer and because he answered his prayer we know that God will answer our prayer so this week fast and petition your God about that challenge fast and petition your God about that need fast and petition your God about that desire fast and petition your God because his gracious hands will always always help those who look to him so God bless you have a wonderful week and remember it is so sweet to trust in Jesus just to take him at his word you can rest my brothers you can rest my sisters upon God's promises because we know that he will come through for us all we need is just more grace so God bless you as he gives you more grace this week to fast and petition him about that issue and he will definitely answer your prayers God bless you